Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We had a question on one of our Divi videos and they were asking how to achieve a typing effect with the Divi theme. Really easy to do, we're using a little extra plugin for this today and it's a free version of one of my favourite plugins called Divi Supreme Modules. This is Divi Supreme Modules Lite and it comes with 23, 20 free Divi custom modules, one of which is Divi typing right here. I'll put the link below the video. I'll take you to this page, the features page, or go to the features page right down at the bottom. You'll see the free, free download right there. Okay, well, let's get started. Really easy to do. First thing I'll do is enable the visual builder. And I've got a section here with a row, single column in it. I'm simply going to delete this module. Okay, well, let's start again. I'm going to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you install Supreme or Supreme Pro, it gives you about 50 of these plus some great extensions. With the light version, as I mentioned earlier, you get 20 or so of these, one of which is included Supreme typing. So I'm going to click on that, bring it up. And it's going to open. It gives you opportunity to put some text before the typing effect. As you can see, that's actually starting the typing after there. Then what you want your actual typing effect line to say underneath. this down get it out of the way and if we look down below you can put something after the typing effect too now if you want things to appear on different lines just under the typing effect you can say typing a text on a new line Flip that to on, and as you can see, the typing starts on a new line there. And exactly the same with the after text. If you want that on a new line, flip this to on. As you can see, that's popped that on a new line. Now you've got various typing options. You can change the speed. You can have it loop like I'm doing at the moment, so it keeps going around and around. If you turn that off, it will just stop when it gets to the end. You can decide how long it takes to go backwards delay before it actually goes backwards if you want the whole line to be visible so they can read it for a certain period of time and as with most of these you can either slide in a time amount or you can type in amount in milliseconds so 10,000 milliseconds would be 10 seconds and as with all Divi modules if you don't like what you've done simply select it hit delete it will return back to how it was. You can use fade out if you want to and also shuffle. Fade out will actually, instead of rolling back like it is at the moment, will just fade out at the end and it'll start again from the beginning. You can choose a custom cursor character if you want. The standard is a pipe, which is pretty standard for that. Moving on down, we've got the standard things. If you want to link it, put your link in here. Best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. You can give it all the usual things, background color, gradient, image or video if you want to. Moving on to the design. Here we've got a main which covers all of the text right here. And you've got your usual capitalize, alignment, colors, text size etc text spacing line height but you can also style these all separately so we've got before text right here you can give them a background color if you want to I'm not particularly interested in doing that myself uh, but if you do you can change the line height so it gives it more space just drag the line height up and it will give it more space for you there 
Let's take it up a bit more so we can really see our typing effect. A little separate piece of space there. I'm going to take that background color away. But I will turn it blue. And let's go on down. And we've got our actual after text. And we'll do the same with that. Don't want a background color. I'll make it blue and we'll take our line height up to similar so it's got a bit of space in between great and of course if we roll on down we can do exactly the same for the actual typing effect itself cursor color you can have that a different color to anything else if you want to make it stand out let's just pop it make it red I don't want to give it a background color same thing you can give it a background color if you want to and this has also got some padding so you can space it out so if you do give it a background color to give it 10 pixels just put in the number it'll put in the pics hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and same with top and bottom and it's given it its own space there but like I say I'm happy with the way it was so I'm simply going to delete and it will return back I'm going to take that background color away I think I will make it bold and for anybody that's not used Divi before Divi has a fantastic amount of fonts there are literally hundreds of fonts and you can just go in here hover over one and it'll show you an example of what that font's going to look like but again, I'm pretty happy for mine to stay on the default, so I'll leave mine just as it is. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a great little effect. And like I say, it comes absolutely free with the Divi Supreme Modules Lite. So let's save our changes, make sure it's going to work on the front end. Save the page changes. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we go. There's our little typing effect. So I hope that's answered your question. Divi Supreme Modules is a fantastic plugin. I use the pro version all the time. It really has some fantastic features, but you do get some great free ones with the light version also. And like I say, the links below the video, check it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.